Edward Norton is Eisenheim, a magician with uncanny powers in Neil Berger's romantic drama, The Illusionist. Opulently set in 19th century Vienna, when the Habsburgs ruled with total power and the class system was rigidly enforced between nobles and commoners, the film follows the fortunes of Eisenheim when by chance he meets his childhood love Sophie, Jessica Biel, a duchess who is engaged to marry sadistic crown prince Leopold. Rufus Sewell. Both Eisenheim and Sophie rekindle their love, but the crown prince does everything to thwart their plans through his chief of police, Inspector Uhl, Paul Giamatti. What magic can Eisenheim devise to save not only Sophie from a vicious, unwanted marriage, but, it is soon clear, to save both their lives? I've seen you perform. Perhaps you give me a tip. How can we help you, Inspector? The Crown Prince plans to attend your performance tonight. I need a volunteer from the audience. Someone not afraid of death. Do you know me? No. that I would see you again. She was seen in the company of another man. I know you've been with him. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with me! He plans to overthrow his father. You'll never be emperor. You shouldn't be involved. Leave him. It's not that easy. I want you to put an end to it. Richard, um, uh, this is a wonderful film. It's a throwback mm -hmm. film. Lush sets, um, yeah. uh, beautiful costumes. Um, yeah. Actually filmed in um, the Czech Republic. Uh, some of it in Prague, a lot of it in a place called Oh Chesney yeah, it's immens immensely good looking. And I'd also add that they didn't turn the, uh, the actors into waxworks either. Mm -hmm. There's a, even though Jessica Biel has been called like like this like the best performance of her life, which mm -hmm. you know isn't saying a lot, but um, she's not she's not made up so tightly. There's a little sense of untidiness to her makeup and her hair that's like it's very appealing. I mean, she's never been so pretty in a film. Is I guess what I'm trying I, to say. I think she was very very um, sensual, and yeah. I I also think that she showed a spirited character. Mm -hmm. I mean, she wasn't a docile um, a victim woman. She really was a spirited woman. And, and engrossing mystery, I think one that I it was kind of easy to to, to piece together. It's, for it's the it's the atmosphere, it's the aura of the mm -hmm. film that you're really going to watch. Okay, um, and, Rufus the, Sewell, and the performances. Yeah, yeah. I'm real happy with Rufus Sewell as a villain. He's he's the, he really a go-to guy whenever you want a neurotic, decadent aristocrat these days. And uh, Norton was authoritative and quiet. He was keeping a lot in which is very important to the film, it was, and he was excellent. Yeah, I went back and forth about Norton, and mm -hmm. I'll tell you why. I think, on one hand, I think this film's chances would have been helped by somebody that was a little bit older and more oh, reviewer okay. in the role. Okay. Uh, they got more of a method actor, a more mm -hmm. introspective guy. At the same time, Norton is, you know, he's an excellent actor, and I think really the point of the film that uh, it was little people like that. It was people like uh, like Houdini, mm -hmm. whose uh, challenges to the idea of life, the solidity of life and death, are as a tremendous challenge to the ruling class. And uh, I, I thought that they did that part really, really well. When you have somebody that can conjure the spirits of the dead, it's a, it's a tremendous affront to the authority that believes it's got the, you know, the power of life over death over the citizens. So, well, I tell you, this um, uh, this film really goes into the class system, and I think mm -hmm. any any old time Soviet critic would have been delighted. Yeah, you know? yeah, I think so. I didn't mean to just um, like go on those grounds. But, um, but all we've said, and I yeah. thought the the film was beautifully done. It was done in an old photographic method and really gives this sense mm -hmm. of old colors. Yeah, there's old irises, and old, irising yeah. out and so yeah. forth. And, yeah, and, that, and it, uh, just a beautiful look to it, as you said. But to me, one of the wonderful things of this film was Paul Giamatti, mm -hmm. who broke the typecasting of the sad sack. Yeah. And for that alone, you should see this film. I was delighted. In this fact, the whole film delighted. A bit of a Dr. Watson in my yeah. kind of 